Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, module on boot volume. My name is Rohit Rai and I'm part of the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure team. In this module, let's look at what boot volumes are. A compute instance is launched using OS image stored on a remote uh, boot volume. We looked at this earlier. So let's say you have a compute instance here. You have this concept of boot volume and block volumes. And boot volume is where your OS is there. So this is the boot. And then you have block volumes here. And a block volume is where you would keep your application data uh, and boot volume is where you would keep your operating system both of them are form of boot volume is a special kind of a block volume uh, and we'll talk more about this in the block volume uh, module but just gives you a quick uh, understanding of what uh, a boot volume is boot volume is created aut automatically and associated with an instance until you terminate the instance makes sense because that's where your operating system is booted from uh, uh, you can you can scale your instances to larger shape by using boot volumes. Uh, you can preserve the boot volume when you terminate that compute instance. You give that get that option, and they are only terminated when you manually delete them. If you don't terminate it when um, you are um, let's say terminating your instance, and then the other thing is boot volume cannot be detached from a running instance. Again, make sure it makes sense because. This is where your operating system resides. Uh, you can do things like manual backup assign backup policies create clones we'll talk about all of these in the block volume uh, module uh, but boot volume is nothing but a special kind of a block volume so everything you could do with block volume you could do with boot volumes now with oci when you when you create an instance you can specify a custom boot volume size um, so for uh, for linux the default is 46.6 but as you can see in this picture we could go to 100 uh, gig right uh, for Windows, it's 256 default, but you could go to a bigger ship. You could go all the way up to 32 terabyte because that's the maximum size supported by uh, block volume. Now there are a couple of things which uh, a couple of things which are different between um, between uh, a custom image and a boot volume. Because if you recall, uh, the the goal of a custom image is to create a gold uh, image, right? So gold image meaning you have the operating system and all the configurations, customizations, etc boot volume is the operating system right where the operating system resides so sort of they're trying to do the same thing but what are the difference between uh between you know custom images uh versus you know like using a boot volume and taking a backup of that boot volume because if you make changes uh, to the boot volume where the operating system is uh, you could uh, do a backup right and you could use that uh, to spin and create other instances so a few things to keep in mind um with custom images we saw this in the previous module you can do import and export right across regions and across tendencies there is no cost associated uh, so you definitely you store them in the you store them in the object storage but there is no cost which is which is uh, which is which you have to pay the downtime is the instance shuts down in the previous module we saw that the instance shut down for a couple of minutes less than a minute actually uh, and then there are some limits uh, which you have to uh, which you have to work work uh, with now in case of boot volume backup you're doing something similar you have a boot volume you can make changes you can take a backup uh, first thing is it doesn't require a downtime so you are running and then you do a boot volume backup um, the advantage is it preserves the entire state of your running operating system right because again there is no downtime if you're running it you just take a backup uh, the downside is there's a cost associated with the amount of object storage you use right so if these images are big uh, of course you know you're paying that and then the second one is well, while the instance is running, you get the entire state. Uh, it also creates a crash consistent backup. Uh, so it's always a good practice uh, to shut down your instance uh, and then take a backup, right? Because that way, uh, if you want to use running like SharePoint or Exchange or something, it's not a good idea to uh, to to take a backup while your application is is running. So with that, let me quickly jump to the console and show you a quick uh, demo. Of where the boot volumes are so in the previous module we were creating uh, during custom image we were doing an export let's see if this process is done or still going on okay it looks like it's still going on so right here you can see the boot volumes right and uh, if I scroll here I can see bunch of the boot volumes which I have created in this account right and some of them are running uh, like this the instances which are running the web instance is running the bastion the database etc running so I can see a compute uh, the boot volume uh, 
Uh, I just created this instance a few minutes back. It's still running, right? It's a Linux instance, so you can see the boot volume is uh, is 47 gig in size um, right here, right? Uh, and I could do a bunch of things like assign a backup policy. Uh, I could change the encryption key, uh, bring your own keys. I could do all that, right? Uh, right here, uh, you can see the attached instance uh, and you can see that detached from instance is grayed out. I cannot detach it because the instance is still running. Uh, and it says, you know, it's, a, it's in a running state. Uh, and I could do things like in-transit encryption and a bunch of other things, right? Uh, one thing I want to show you is creating a boot volume backup. So I can come here and I can create a boot volume backup here. Boot backup one. And I would say, you know, it's a full backup. I could do incremental backup or I could do full backup. And there you go. I could create a backup of this boot volume. So it's sim similar to creating uh, creating a custom image. Uh, but now I'm doing the boot volume backup, as you saw in the previous slide. There's also boot volume clone. And I could come here and I could do the clone here, right? Uh, the thing is, clone and, uh, and backup uh, are mutually exclusive, meaning uh, only one can run at a time. So I could not, um, I could not run uh, both of them at the same time. So if I come here uh, and I, I click this create clone, it would give me an error that there is currently a backup operation in in pro in progress. So once my um, backup operation is done, I could come in and create a clone. So if I go back here, it looks like my backup is still uh, still going on. And right now you can see the backup size. It's a 47 gig uh, boot volume, so uh, the you can you know it will take a backup here. Now a couple of other things to see. If I go into my boot volumes, uh, these are the boot volumes which have been which have been terminated. And when I was terminating my instance, probably I went and terminated these uh, these uh, boot volumes. If I want to quickly show you that experience, I have a bunch of these instances running. Probably I'm not using this one. So I would say terminate this instance. And when I do that, it says permanently delete the attached boot volume. By default, it keeps it. But if I click this link here and terminate this instance, now my boot volume, which was associated with this instance, is also going to be deleted. So if I go back to my boot volume link and scroll all the way down, this one stays says available because it's in the process of getting deleted, terminated. But if I refresh this page, it should be grayed out. I think it's still going on, but it would, you know, a few, few seconds, you would see that this is grayed out because I'm going to, because I gave a command to terminate by boot volume. If I click on the boot volume backups, you can see the backups, uh, the, the one which I just took, you can see the, the, the backup here. Um, date of 12th November, right? I just took this back up. So hopefully this was a quick, uh, let me just go back and see if the boot volume is. Okay, it, the boot volume should have been deleted. Let me just go back to my instance because we did say the permanently deleted. Um, so, Hopefully this gives you a quick um, demo. It's still in the process of terminating, so that's why it was sometimes um, it takes uh, takes takes a few more seconds to terminate the instance. So hopefully this gives gives you a quick uh, understanding of boot volumes, what they do. Operating system is stored there. You could do a boot volume backup, um, similar to custom images, some pros and cons. Uh, and we'll talk again. Uh, whatever you can do with block volumes, you could do with boot volumes. It's a special kind of a, of a block volume. We'll talk more uh, about boot volumes when we discuss the block volume module. Thank you for joining this uh, lecture. Uh, if you have time, please join the next lecture where we talk about instance pools, uh, auto scaling configuration, etc. Thank you.